Luke Bryan, we just heard you rehearsing out there. How did it feel? Well, how was it? It sounded great. I mean, you, you always could, sound You could great. give me a, a bad Yelp <laughs> review if you'd like. No, no. How did it feel? No, it feels good. I mean, um, just happy to be doing this with Jordan. Such a great big song for him, getting you know so many nominations. So I'm, I'm honored to be in the room. It must feel good, too, to be back in Vegas, especially because last year at the ACMs, you had to miss it, unfortunately. So how good does it feel I to be know, in I mean, City? Yeah, uh, to, to win Entertainer of the Year last year, and I kind of had to be on the set at American Idol. Um, kind of got a lot of things going on with American Idol, but uh, it, it was really uh, an honor to mm -hmm. win and, and to be the Entertainer of the Year. And I'm certainly yeah. excited to see um, who, who gets it this year. And, um, yeah. But yeah, it's, it's going to be a fun night and any time in Vegas, I've always thought the Vegas element adds a big party right. for the ACMs. Now those are all your friends in the entertainment right, right, category. Right. You can't choose one, can you? No, nah, you, don't, you don't really get into that world. You just, um, I mean, my thing is always, I've, I've got people um, that you, you always feel like they're deserving and before their career's up, you always pray they get one you know it's a once i won my first you know my first entertainer of the year was at acms and it's just such a validating mm -hmm. um it's a validating moment in your career and and i'm so so thankful to have have won it and look at you now just wrapped up the first part of your vegas residency yeah. how yeah. did that all go it was great i mean i couldn't be happier with the show i really feel like it's one of the best shows i've ever been able to put on and perform and I also learned that that I can live one month in Vegas without, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, without getting sent to the grave. <laughs> <laughs> How much trouble did your mom get into? My, my mother is uh, she's in trouble with me because I, you know she's really crafty at borrowing money from multiple people. So yeah, now I'm going around hearing all the debts she accrued. Well, listen, you're gonna make more money here though because you have more Vegas residency shows. I know it's do. not the, it's not the point. You don't take the money that you make in Vegas and give it back on the tables. So it's kind of <laughs> counterproductive. Are you already thinking about round two for your Vegas residency, or are you kind of like I need a breather for a second and then you'll wrap your mind around it? Well, I mean, with me, I mean, this year I kind of chalked this year up to be one of the busier years of my life, and the main thing is just rest when I can rest mm -hmm. and. Uh, but as far as round two, I mean, I always want to build on the Vegas show. Even if we have repeat people that come out multiple times, I always want them to be able to see different things. But, but um, the Vegas show will morph and become even something I'm more comfortable with. And then, the, the, you know, this year we've got the Raised Up Right tour that's, mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> that I've got a whole other tour going on. So, so yeah, I'm going to... We were talking off camera. I'm going to need one margarita, two margaritas, and some spicy margaritas, and some watermelon margaritas, and yeah, all versions. All of it. At the end of this year. Now, you mentioned repeat people coming to the shows. Has your American Idol family been able to check out the residency? They haven't, but I was able to catch Katie's show uh, Friday night because of ACMs, and I came in a day early just to be able to, because it's going to be really tough for our for our schedules to intersect to where we can come. So. Right. So um, I, I mainly did that just to put a lot of pressure on Katie so she <laughs> would have to come see my show. What did you think of hers? Oh, I loved it. I mean, it's such a different, um, the, well, the beauty of all the shows that are at Resorts World is they're all different in their own, in their own reasons. And, you know, I've never been to a lot of pop concerts, but, mm -hmm. I mean, Katie's show is just a visual, mm -hmm. I mean, and even I've seen her show on, a, on her last tour but I just love what she's able to put yeah. together in the theater. It's really creative, really visual. Mm -hmm. And, um, uh, you know, I, I, I'm just a huge fan of what Katie does, always have been. Mm -hmm. And now to know her as a friend and to be a, you know, to be on idol with her, it's just, uh, it's like literally sitting there cheering my sister on, mm -hmm. hoping she's having fun, so. You know, there's two fellow idol family members also hosting the show now this year. Right. Gabby and Gabby Jimmy. And Jimmy Have you yeah. given them any advice? Oh, well, I just saw Gabby and just, you know, kind of hugged her and said, you know, good luck. And, and uh, it's a fun thing to see the next generation come along. I mean, certainly had a lot of memories hosting the ACMs and a lot of anxieties and worries and fears and to see a newer crop coming along knowing that they're gonna be excited hosting. It's uh, it's fun all the way around. Last question for you. I like this fashion moment here. We've got a little Dolce & Gabbana going uh, on. How'd you, uh, 
Oh, you saw that? I did I not know. I the buttons, too. Oh, yeah, see, <laughs> I didn't know that's what it said. I thought, you know, anyway, but. Will, um, you, have, will you have multiple uh, outfit changes because you have two performances? Well, you know, we're doing our performance together. Okay. So um, I would have to get naked in front of everybody, and trust me, <laughs> we don't want that. So you're staying in one outfit. Staying in one there outfit. There you go.